Hey guys. And welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. So in the last episode we we met Jeremiah's mother, we disguised ourselves to gain entry, to gain the trust of Jeremiah's mother, we examined, we interrogated uh, Jack Cole and Percy Fleming and examined both suspect belongings. So in this episode we are going back to Baker Street, well to start off, we are going back to Baker Street to search archives. And I am out of breath. Actually, come to think of it, whilst I'm at Baker Street, I'll get changed. So I hope you guys are enjoy. I think, to be honest, I think this is one of my favourite cases. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I certainly am. It's. I don't want to say if it's better than Crimes and Punishments yet because I want to finish the game before I make any decisions like that. So. Come on. Come on. I'll go with the overcoat. It, it, I don't know why, but it's taken ages to inlo um, load the encyclopedias. Hmm, the text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered. Um. Elementary. It's a notebook filled with debts, and Jeremiah's name is on the list. I knew he had something to do with it. Knew it. He's not really from America, is he? He staged. He staged being an actor from America to get into get into twenty one to twenty one B Baker Street. 
and then he burnt the the evidence he destroyed the table so no one could so Sherlock couldn't uh, decipher the evidence and it seems to me that Orson's fucked them over so that's why he's been put into the cab maybe I don't know <laughs> I should find a way to get inside. Really careful with that. Blood. Scratch marks. There was a fight here. Orson attempted to resist, but someone or something convinced him otherwise. I'm just going to skip the tracing bit just to just to speed the playthrough up. Plus, I'm I'll be honest with you guys, I can't be asked to do it. It's him. Go on. Hey. But what? No! We need to get out of here. Shit, man, what were you playing at? Fuck. Oh, fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck did you do that for, you idiot? Lestrade, I'm glad you're here. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'll be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes! Uh, 
Please, sir. Release my son. What are you doing? Well, please try to remember. You know, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, yeah, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dog. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, makes no sense, right? Condemn him. Yep. Where is this insect? Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. That's quite enough, Wilde. I know that you were guilty of the attempt made on my life and of the murder of Jeremiah Thorne. Holmes, you're my best friend. I don't even know you. Why are you doing this? Oh, stop all this. The case is solved. You came to my house for the sole purpose of taking my life. In addition, you hired Jeremiah to do your dirty work. And when you realized his failure, you murdered him to conceal any traces of the crime. There's no chance of you avoiding the gallows. Gallows? <laughs> Absolutely not. That would mess up my hair. <sighs> yep, yeah, I'll accept it. Yeah, sure. Wow, <laughs> I knew it was him. I had a bad feeling from from the start. I always thought it was a bit weird. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I would press continue, but that will trigger the next cutscene. And you got you guys are going to see that in the next episode, because I'm going to start the case from the start. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to see my next case. And let me know down in the comments what your favourite case has been so far. I think, it's been, I think mine's been the Infamy case, the one that we just did, to be honest. See you soon.